Hello, in today's video, I'm going to talk about one ingredient to avoid and that's modified food starch. Modified food starch is a processed thickening and binding ingredient derived from corn, potato, wheat, tapioca, rice, or other grains. There are different types of modified food starch with additional names and designations such as E1441 and E1442. Generally, modified food starch will look off-white, have no color, and be in a powder form. But depending on the process and method, it can consist of large granules, resemble even their natural starch, or be flaky and coarse. They'll also be insoluble in cold water if they're not pre-gelatinized, as well as in ethanol. This food starch, a complex carbohydrate, can be modified in several ways, such as physically, chemically, or enzymatically. If modified physically, heat, drying, radiation, ultra-high pressure treatments, freezing and thawing, and more will generally be used to change its composition. If chemically modified, a host of treatments will be used such as acid treatment, alkaline treatment, bleaching, emulsification, esterification, etherication, or oxidation, in which chlorine, hydrogen peroxide, sodium hydrochloride, and other agents are used. And if modified enzymatically, hydrolysis may be used. So what's the purpose of all this? Why do manufacturers use modified food starch? In short, modified food starch thickens and binds ingredients to improve taste, texture, and appearance. Think of gravy. With modified food starch, it's able to maintain its texture and consistency, not clumping up as the temperature drops or when it sits out for too long. With regular starch, you would have to reheat and stir to recreate such texture and consistency, sometimes with no success. So modified food starch is a thickener, stabilizer, binder, and emulsifier. If you even just glance at the ingredient list of many packaged foods at the grocery store, this ingredient will not be new to you. It's in a lot of things such as frozen meals, canned food, highly processed meats like deli meat and hot dogs, baked goods like bread, cakes and cookies, jelly and soft candy, drinks, yogurt, ice cream, fruit and cream fillings, gravies, dressings, and sauces. In the conventional processed food world, you really can't escape it. So is modified food starch safe? There are no recent or major studies done on the safety of modified food starch. It has been approved as a safe ingredient by the FDA, EFSA, and JECFA. However, in 2017, the safety of modified food starch was re-evaluated for short and long-term toxicity, carcinogenicity, reproductive toxicity, and more with the conclusion that there were no safety concerns and no numerical ADI, which is acceptable daily risk, was needed. But many consumers disagree. Many blogs and websites have shared common side effects and reactions to consuming products with modified food starch. In general, consumers have experienced allergies, headaches, diarrhea, bloating, fatigue, and other digestive issues. One website even listed heart palpitations and chest pain as side effects to consuming modified food starch. Gluten and GMOs are other concerns since modified food starch can be derived from wheat, and with the ingredient not specifying where it's derived from, it's possible the product contained in the ingredient could be a gluten product. Also, with corn and wheat being crops largely affected by GMOs, harmful traces of chemicals could be present in the modified food starch and thus the product it's a part of. So, should you consume modified food starch? I say no because though it's approved as a safe ingredient for consumption and there are no research studies confirming the toxicity and harmfulness of the product, it's still a highly processed ingredient mostly produced chemically. Even if it's physically produced by heat or freezing, the starch could be a GMO crop and there's really no way to know if it isn't unless the manufacturer states that it's GMO free or certified organic. Either way, it's not a natural ingredient, not even remotely and many consumers have long since complained about the side effects. If you are experiencing the issues they've mentioned, looking into your diet and seeing if modified food starch has been a large part of it could be the answer to resolving your ailments. I also want to say that even though modified food starch is considered safe by food manufacturers and their entities, it's good practice to think about intent and how they are viewing the ingredient. Do they consider the ingredient safe to consume at the serving size or moderate amounts? Do they consider some safer than others, such as those processed physically or with lesser toxic methods? Are profit potential influencing their thoughts? Are they basing their thoughts on studies or lack of previously done? They may not have considered the consumer's feedback or even misinterpreted them. Or they may not be prioritizing further research due to lack of pressure. Either way, these are things to consider 
whenever something that is unnatural is considered safe. Nevertheless, there's a growing number of healthier processed foods that don't contain modified food starch, so I recommend you offer those instead of the conventional brands that have the ingredient. Other ways to avoid this ingredient is to make as much of the foods you can that conventionally contain it. Importantly, focus in the bulk of your diet on whole foods will ensure you maintain your health and vitality for life and avoid having to worry about questionable ingredients like modified food starch. Whole foods are easier to obtain, cost less, and you don't have to question if it will make you sick so long as it's not heavily affected by sprayed on chemicals or you're not allergic to them. So that's it. I encourage you to further investigate modified food starch to get a full understanding of it, how it's made, and its safety concerns. I hope I provided enough information to give you a solid scope of this ingredient to avoid. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, share so others can be informed of this ingredient as well. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos, and until next time, take care.